Well, anyway, I was shopping tonight down at Morrison's and uh, when I came out and I went to the post box I found a little friend in the car park waiting for me. Check this out. I don't know how well you'll be able to see in here but anyway, this is a, basically an old uh, Bacardi box, I think it is. Anyway, inside there, sat on the curb at Morrison's Reading it by hand earlier, and it was uh, quite happy to let me open its beak and push some milk and bread down there. And uh, so, anyway, I guess I'll be hand feeding a little baby pigeon for a couple of weeks. Lucky's little birdhouse and a box. I can't see him in there very well, but he's snuggled in there, he's looking at me. Wondering where breakfast is. Well, anyway, Lucky, my pigeon, I've named him Lucky, has uh, made it through the first night and he seems quite happy on his little nest I made him out of an old bonsai pot and shredded paper and uh, managed to feed him some um, milk and seeded bread last night. He's about three or four weeks old, so he's okay on uh, semi solid food, I think. And we're basically going to wean him onto seed, soften, moisten the seed at first and then hopefully he'll be able to uh, eat for himself before too long. And I believe about four to six weeks they can fly so it won't be long before he'll be on his way anyway. But anyway, we're going to uh, get him out and give him some breakfast. Hopefully he won't get in too much of a flap about it. Pretty sure it's a pigeon, he's got a really long beak so I think it might be a uh a wood pigeon, but we'll see anyway, as his feathers develop. He might just have a handsome long beak. Anyway, let's get him out. I might need two hands, so uh, you might see him when he's out. Here we are. This is Lucky. Lucky he's got me as a mummy for a few days. He just sat there, happily waiting for his breakfast. He's got a bit used to me now, he's a bit nervous. He does that huffy thing when he's getting a bit excited or nervous. He's not really scared because um, when he gets fed up with me, he pecks me and flaps his wings at me. Tells me off a bit, but anyway, he's not eating on his own yet, so I'm going to have to give him some breakfast. Pretty sure he's a wood pigeon, so a really long beak. I think he's quite happy to be on YouTube though. Got. It's not a very big syringe, you can see, and that's just uh, whole milk mixed up with um, seeded bread, but they have remove the seeds, so you could probably take the solids, no problem, but it's just bread and milk, and uh, if he gets half of that for breakfast, I think that will uh, keep him going for a couple of hours. I said, I read on their forum that um, they don't like dairy products. But that's all I've got at the moment. I've got some uh, UHT milk, which is probably less, you know, less dairy, but um, I'll keep him going for now anyway. He's probably thirsty as well, so uh, I mixed a bit of water in there with it as well. well I got him to uh, sip a little bit from the syringe. He wasn't like opening his mouth and swallowing it, and I was a bit like reluctant to force his mouth open and jam it down his throat, which I might have to do. But um, I did get my little thumbnail in his beak and just open his mouth a little bit and he was swallowing the uh, liquid that was going into his mouth which is probably a good idea because it was just going up his nose as well and he had to swallow if he wanted to carry on breathing which is kind of uh, one of those things about nature isn't it? But yeah he's doing alright, it's the second time I've fed him and he's taken some liquid so uh, he'll be okay, I'll do that a few times a day just get some liquid and some feed into him. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my liquidizer out. It's over there in the corner. And uh, nice blend of uh, seeds and seeded bread and milk. Just make a nice consistency because it's a bit lumpy for the syringe. It wasn't coming out very easily and it uh, surprised him a bit when it splashed in his face. <laughs> uh, don't ask me, I'm not a pigeon doctor. 
drink of water. He likes that, he perks up a bit when I give him a drink or feed him. Watch this. Doing his wet in my finger, just putting a little drop on his, on his beak. And what happens is the water just runs through the crack in his mouth or into his nostrils, and then uh, the pigeons have a tongue, so it'll get you know wet in his mouth on his tongue. Eventually, he'll have a little swallow. They don't like, obviously don't like water in their nostrils, so they have to swallow if they want to breathe. Uh, yeah, see them have a little swallow. So the water's the water's getting on his tongue. Hopefully, eventually, he'll be able to get used to drinking for himself. A bit, a bit off camera there, so I was looking at the bird rather than the camera screen, but anyway, he's got his feathers coming on. I think he's going to be a wood pigeon. Might just be a regular pigeon, but he's got a really long beak. And we can't see it very well, but he's got a really cute little tail feather as well. Yeah, like the nest I made for him. Shredded paper and an old bonsai dish. What I'm doing anyway is uh, making up a blend of a few things I've got about the kitchen for my little friend Lucky because um, the breadcrumbs weren't going through the syringe very well so I'm going to make it like a proper nice smoothie for him. <coughs> purple colour is the uh, purple cabbage I'll put in there. Anyway it's coming on alright. <laughs> I think that'll be enough. That's got all the nutrients he needs to keep him alive anyway. I'll give him that every few hours if I'm awake anyway. I had about four hours sleep last night if you're wondering why I look a bit grouchy. I'll keep you posted by the way on his progress. I might phone the, uh, see if there's a local pigeon handler who wants to take him on, race him or make him a homing pigeon or something. Well, I've had a phone around and uh, asked a few people if they knew who would look after a baby pigeon because I don't really feel like, you know, it's a very good idea in a little flat. And uh, anyway, the Owl and Monkey Sanctuary in Newport have agreed to take him. Because all he needs is it needs looking after for a couple of weeks till it can fly. And then it'll be able to fly off and find its own food. So obviously it's uh, come out of the nest a bit early. And uh, its parents weren't around. Yeah. So. So anyway, I'm going to pack Lucky up and take him over to the Owl Sanctuary in Newport. Put him in his travel box because this is just his um, this is his daytime box. <laughs> so he looks quite healthy and happy. Just think they'll be uh, better equipped to look after him for the next couple of weeks till he gets his feathers properly and he can fly. Huffs like that when he's nervous, by the way. If I make a sudden hand movement, watch. He gets used to it. If I like pet him and say hello to him, he calms down again. Doesn't make it easy to feed him, though. Anyway, I'll put him in his travel box and I'll get over there this afternoon. I made it to the um, Owl and Monkey Sanctuary. I've got a little lucky in the car. It's very bright today, it's very warm actually. The car said 25 degrees. It feels much hotter than that. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, deliver my little parcel to the sanctuary. It's very good of the um, people here to take on animals like that. Only needs like a looking after for a couple of weeks and it'll be able to fly off on its own. So uh, they've got the time and the resources to do the job. And I'd appreciate it. 
basically. Thank you very much to the Owl and Monkey Sanctuary and uh, good luck, Lucky. Hope you make it. Pigeon or something. Anyway, that's my little video. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll give him that every three or four hours. Uh, if, <laughs> if I'm awake. Well, Lucky is not really enjoying his breakfast today. He's resisting a bit. So what I've done is I've made up a little syringe. I'm going to try and uh, squirt some down his throat, basically. Well, kind of am, I suppose.